something that Liquid's lineup really has going for that is they can make a godlike Medusa in this game. Give it Blood Rage, you have Oracle protecting it. To me, honestly, the biggest thing about the heroes is the silhouette rather than the color. Pretty damn similar when he wears that set. So I think you are you have a case there. Uh, Thank you, Cinder, and for backing like when me up. When people compare Dragonite and Silencer, you know, like most of the time, like, yeah, but, you know, they look pretty different. And one of them turns into a dragon. Oh, Avatar Miracle's actually with dead. With the blood right. Yeah, it's very nice wow. timing. They're just on the edge of the blood right. So, of consequence, but... Make it Make stone actually gaze. expended stone gaze. Yeah, interesting. Oh, he's going to lose his courier to bash. Ooh. That's his treads. Oh, that is so bad. Yeah, now mind control. So bad lull, chat might say. going to continue to oh. try and 1v3 here. Has really tunnel vision on Insania. Uh, unfortunately for him, the crush will not connect this time around, so he's going to get brought down one way or the other, but Zeus helping him get a kill there, so it ends up being a one-for-one. One. Could have been a lot worse for sure. Yeah, killing those treads is, is a pretty big deal. So it's uh, it's two minutes, two and a half minutes roughly, that Mickey doesn't have that, so oh, it will lane. affect his farming speed. Boxy getting some help. Yeah, he's dead. Taiga. He will die, but the blood right doing massive damage. Taiga not comfortable enough to finish off PA as the wand is still in toes. Insania comes in to attempt to save oh. his friend. Miracle jumps in, will trade his life for the support kill, and Kuroki looks like he'll TP out just fine. So he will live as a result. Now the rotations have come in for Liquid. Now, rupture onto sure. GH again. He does have dive, obviously that will kill him. He has Supernova as well. Egg is available. Oh, Tiger, Tiger can get totally out of under position. The tower. Avatos combo is enough to take out Rubik, so it's a one for one. He should be happy he got a trade there. That was indeed. Yeah, but we we've seen Egg more set up for uh, blood right as well. Oh. We're gonna see the blood right now, but telekinesis into death for Mr. Mm. Boxy. I'm not like I understand the matchup and what the like what the point is of picking Zeus into it. I'm just thinking what what options does Medusa have except BKB and Hood. I don't right. really think there is much to solve that. Because any items that you buy, I mean, maybe you buy less Miracle. stats. Oh. oh, he is toast. Jesus. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bit of a counterplay here, Sunray. The old lifestealer approach before they changed yep. uh, Beast. Could definitely oh, see. Oh, Michael oh, he missed gonna whiff completely. his crush, unfortunately, and he's going to pay the price. Oh, One death for him. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure what he was looking for. I mean, it's obvious from our vision, right, that Liquid have a lot of heroes there, but... From mind control's perspective, he had a little bit of help nearby, but not a lot. And there were five heroes missing, so yeah, it's a going bit for crazy. The crush, but it's gonna cost him the tower. The it's pretty big. Tier one will not fall. Holding that egg is him. up in five seconds. Here's the initiation this time from Boxy, and then <laughs> Kuroki showing his blood right as well. But looks like he's gonna be the first to fall. Avatos onto all oh, the ruptured Phoenix, destroyed again. Do they have a medallion? They don't. I would imagine they want to buy Solar Crest this game for their Medusa. Tiger's dead. Yep. How do you protect your teammates if Nygma get the jump? That's still my biggest fear here for Liquid is if Sargar, Zeus, and Phoenix just get to cast their spells and soak, PA will kill two or three heroes behind uh -oh. Medusa. Oh, they might try to go okay. on Medusa here. Yeah, with the newly minted Aegis, he's gonna pop the Stone Gaze and Slara will turn to stone immediately, but Oracle's already dead, so that's their save, but Miracle, way in front, ends up expending his Aegis in turn. Weeha tossed into the brunt of the damage. 50 seconds on the deck for him. No buyback whatsoever. It looks like the fight's going to break up a little bit. Oracle buys back in the game. Avatos is available. Avalanche is more than enough just to take out Kuroki on his own. And all alone, this is poor, poor... Miracle PA. Uh, you have the MKB, so you hit the PA almost all the time. Um, Liquid. Looking for Weeha. The Avalanche does connect into the toss. Not able to toss back to his team, but Weeha spending everything in his arsenal trying to take out Taiga. It's not going to be successful, and Weeha will die in the midst of Nimbus. And now the egg used as well, and that's easily right click down for Liquid as they have an 8k net worth lead now. When they see a hero out of position, I think we showing his Zeus up here is. It's not really a play that they can make if they don't have protection from a stun, right? You want the Rubik or the Slaughter there to defuse a situation like that. Uh, instead, you only have the Sunray, but that's not going to stop them. They don't care. They're just going to keep running at him um, and overwhelm him with that damage. Tier 2 tower falls bottom. This is Liquid's... This is how their strategy oh, wants to work. It's really come Miracle together. Is oh, ruptured, ruptured right now. It's going to get tossed into the fray and brought down... That combo again working out for Liquid. And they're going to take out Kuroki in the midst of the tier 2 tower. 
How many ways can we make it challenging for Mickey and he's still not gonna die? <laughs> He is only one and zero with eight assists, but there's oh, the Avatar combo, dude. Taiga. The rupture again. Weeha is dead, but he doesn't have buyback this time around, Taiga. Attempting to get out. Oh, the perfect save! Fate's Edict will save him from that magic damage, but the Rax is already gone. The buyback from Weeha expended now. Mike, he is actually getting somewhat low. We'll use Stone Gaze, Mind Control. Ends up getting tossed in by Bleed by Rubik. He's just going to get Avatar to death, it looks like. Mystic Snake to follow. Koikva looks to be dead. Gonna pop that essence ring and stay alive a little bit longer, but will fall shortly after. Miracle now already popped his BKB. He's just getting right clicked down by Mickey, and the false promise not enough to keep him alive. So the position one and two are dead for Liquid. We'll see if they end up buying back. Probably not. As Taiga able to Avatos poor Miracle down to his death, and Weeha. This looks to be a potential dieback as Blood Rice are being exchanged from each respective team. But Weeha does live at the cost of. Kuroki. Not using modifier Scotty on multiple targets. Very helpful. And it looks like that is what they were kind of waiting for. As yeah, he's going to lead the charge. Potential pick. Didn't find anything. Yeah. My control. There's the initiation. The egg on the other side. But my lord, Oracle actually taken out immediately by mind control. Looks like he will be the trade of sorts as the egg does officially go off. So two kills quickly for Nigma, But Miracle stuck right next to a Leshrac. That's not something you want to see as GH continue to get right click down by Mickey, the Siege tank himself. Buyback onto Boxy. It's not only for pushing either. It's a lot of damage in teamfights too. Like it's yeah, just, true. You, you can't ignore how much this does. Oh, they're in on Tiny. Yeah, they're gonna actually use False Promise onto Taiga as Mind Control looking to be brought down. Ruptured in the river. The egg is expended. We'll be able to right click this down. It looks like it will survive and go off eventually. Mind Control Dropping extremely low. They do get the Tiny, but it's going to cost them both Slaughter and Rubik. And now the chase is on. Taiga finds poor little GH on that Phoenix. In their so minds, they're the probably point? forcing a Phoenix buy back here, but it's not there. No, we'll oh, Zeus. Taiga again. Yeah. Goodbye, Weeha. That should be GG. I just want to quickly talk about this. Aghanim Scepter for Leshrac, but you go zero talents. For lightning storm. I just think these talents are most of the time just better. <laughs> I, I don't think he needs the, the slow, I don't think he needs lightning storm damage because the edict is still more powerful overall. Oh, my control is super dead. Yes. Better get Taiga. Are they gonna back off here with their megas? No. Not Seems like they want to keep yet. going. That is technically a dieback for Tiny. Yeah. I mean, Aegis is still in there for Mickey. As Kuroki jumps right next to him, has the toss available, brings him back into the midst of Miracle, who's just getting right clicked down with that MKB. Weeha's dead, Nigma just dropping like flies. The Aegis finally consumed, but it's gonna cost Nigma their entire team as GG's finally come out. Plus Rubik was last game. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe things will go very different this time in this lane. Yeah, Kuro, we're gonna have to a steal fight the rune. for the rune. Toss to start things off into the fortunes end. Kuroki taking a lot of damage with that blood, right? We'll survive at the end of the day. So let's talk about this Bloodseeker tiny combo that we saw last game. Oh, he cliffed himself, Kuroki, on the cliff, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Toss can reach. It, it can if you, it can, it can. Uh, Insania is coming up. There's the Toss onto Insania and Kuroki will die. First blooded in the most embarrassing fashion possible. Yep. It's obviously better if it's avoidable. I didn't see the whole play. I don't know how it started, but um, oh, cutting lane. with X and A lot of fairy fires being popped here. Weeha is going to get tornadoed by Boxy, but there is the Crypt Swarm to finish him off. That must have been like basically exact damage. That was really close. It makes him yeah. feel better at the very least. I think that's fine. Up Stormhammer in the bot lane. Taiga is going to get the toss off though for Miracle. Kuroki missing the skewer, but Taiga still in a lot of trouble. Couple more right clicks would Blood suffice. Blood right in a second. Kuro needs to be careful here. Miracle continuing to chase. Blood right is gonna connect onto both heroes. Oh no! And the first to fall is the poor Magnus. Now Miracle finally will get some retribution. It's a one for one, but now quickly just gonna, gonna continue to right to click. Earn. Yeah, Earn already picked up. Damn, that was really nice. But done the deny the neutrals. That's that is a good. huge freaking stack. Maybe a slight switch of lanes potentially. Well, Taiga still has the Avatos available. There's the blood right to set it up. Oh, he oh, felt the, the toss. toss. Not able to get it off though. There finally gets it off into the tier one tower. Invoker on his way. Another TP as well, but we have not taking that much damage. Cold snap gonna keep him in place. Tornado to follow, but it's just not enough damage. At least not yet. But there's the blood right. There's the setup. 
finally they're able to take out Weha. It takes the entirety of Team Liquid, essentially, to get this done. Ooh, Koikva. Try to set up a kill onto Miracle. He's going to have some support both from Insani and Taiga, able to take out the Courier, and that might be where this ends. A little quick, but Blood Right in another one second. Avalanche not going to connect. Mickey is also here. They really want this kill. Miracle is going to pop his ult in tow, though. He's going to get the cleave. Easy kill onto Bloodseeker. And with the support, oh. they should be able to find more. PA is next. Taiga tanking this tower. If they end up trying to prioritize that. But you can see Liquid smoking into their own jungle. There's the Atos reveal. Looks to be a kill onto Kuroki one way or the other. They find it pretty easily. Miracle can pop that oh. ult. Three shots, Taiga. Good Lord Almighty. Mind Control with a nice Berserker's Call. And there's the cleave continuing to come. The Culling Blade through the False Promise. Didn't really talk about that interaction, but that works wonders. Four for one in favor of Team Nigma. You have Bloodseeker who can be fast, Invoker can ghost walk. Uh, maybe you have some cute toss saves, whatever it is. PA. Insania is dead. I just yep. wanted to update you on that. Thank you. Uh, as Nigma able to take the Aegis. Put it on Miracle. And like you said, does have that 10 second BKB and just not working on the Agatha stuff. Top lane. Taiga attempting to get out of dodge, but the egg is able to finish him off. Mick Mickey does get the trade, but not able to take out the egg himself. And with that GH, oh, okay, Atos into the blood right. Looks like it will be in time, but here comes Miracle. Big boy in tow. There's the storm hammer. No <laughs> Alright. What level yeah, is that, Blur? That definitely level helps. Two. Okay. I mean, okay, yeah, he's not a high level then, but it looks like uh, Miracle and company should be able to clean up quick nice, pretty easily, although there. the tornado again, very nicely done. It means if you get jumped by any of these stuns, the egg feels safe to follow through. Go oh, Scepter is going to save Boxy for now, or I should say oh. Koikva, but not for long. A two for nothing into the tier two. And yeah, I, I just can't see, I mean, even from itemization standpoint, you talked about an invoker having to go to Midas to try and catch up, but that's not going to pay off for quite a while. And then from Mickey's perspective, does have the Battle Fury, we'll be going for Deso, but we've been seeing him just melt regardless of the damage he's outputting. This is another one of those types, like we talked about the last game where you thought it was still fine, like this game, do you think that it's still right to go for the damage over trying to survive? But maybe even with BKB, it's not going to make much of a difference against Miracle, who's this ridiculously farmed right now. I think you have to wipe this, so. BKB popped on Miracle, oh. Taiga dead. And mid racks 30. to follow. God Strength still activated right now. And the 20 minute racks is Nigma's. Full on right, rabies okay mode. Uh oh, Boxy's found out. And I'm just going to go on a limb here and say that he is dead. Let's see if I'm correct, Cinderin. Yup. Nice. Mind Control right not today. able to chop him down, though. Hey, I was right once earlier as well. You right, commended that's me. That's a personal dust. Don't Two in one it. day. Oh, and Sanya. Whee! He is also dead. I'm going to call it now. There we go. Right. Three times. I'm just going to do this the rest of the game. Damn, you can get so many predictions right in a game if you say people that get jumped by Sven will die. That's actually <laughs> incredible. <laughs> nope. Top what lane, do you think? Though. If Taiga gets jumped Rupture. by Sven, do you think it's going to be? Oh. Mind control looks to be fine for now, dead. Cinderin. Yes. Very good. Wherever He's Miracle dead. goes, people die. Mind control is going to live. We'll go on a limb here and say mind control is also dead, Cinderin. That's true. Yeah, that's definitely how math works. Miracle, Aegis has been consumed yeah, by Roshan himself. Now, here's the real lore question. Oh. Is, uh, we're going to wait for Mickey to get destroyed by Miracle. But Insania is there with the save. Insania will likely die as a result of this. Indeed, that is the case. Now, the question is, can Miracle go through <laughs> this false promise? Him. It doesn't matter. Don't Jesus, him, horse. Hor just cleave off those creeps. Thank you, Miracle. Good Foxy, God. Why did you have to go and try to help? GG <laughs> is called. <laughs> They crept good both offensively and defensively there. Not too good against Oracle, though. I think Oracle is one of the better supports at dealing with it. Because uh, of its innate ability to handle the crept fight. Oh, they missed the arrow. That's not a good start. Kuro has to skewer away. Yeah, well, at least he's not on the cliff this time around. But Mickey's getting chased by Miracle. Stormhammer, another six seconds. Kuroki going to be chasing him as well. Is GH, in the meantime, getting blocked by Insania. See if they can do enough damage to actually finish that. him off. Looks like they will have enough. That is first blood going the way of Taiga and a storm hammer to follow onto Mickey, but it looks like he will be fine as really we're blocking nice from Insania. Oh. Kuroki can't quite get to the cliff again. Been struggling with that one a bit, although this is more to get away than anything. Shadow Realm is popped. 
still will take the brunt of that damage, this Taiga. It looks like Kuroki's gonna find his way to the grave. Mikke gets a second, is now Miracle on the run in a 3v1, but they don't really have any utility. So. Miracle level three, by the way. In the jungle. He's, be, well, he's yeah, not even gonna be there on his own. But here comes the rotation from Weeha. So Insania takes a tumble. In general, in this patch, like the carry needs to feel good, right? Mm -hmm. um, he is very sad. Oh, they're looking for a Arrow? potential kill here. Stormhammer into Arrow, into the Decrepify Suck from Weeha is going to be enough to take out Koikfa. Really big kill. Weeha top of the network. Location from Nigma failing that gank. Oh, Weeha's in Viz. Is popped. Yeah, they know that somebody is here, possibly in Viz. He's going to show himself, does Weeha with GH helping out. The Arrow's going to connect on the Shadow Realm target. Remember, Ravage is down, but they're going to find the Dark Willow regardless. Now Decrepify into the Nether Blast to follow. Koikfa. He's at half HP with Boxy coming to help him out. Let's see if this will be enough. His life drain is actually canceled thanks to that crush. So really good timing from Boxy overall. We're going to find Marana, so it's a one for one to start things out. There's the RP for Kuroki, finally getting that level six. Really needed that, but not enough damage to actually finish anybody off. And it's like Weeha is the one that dies. A three for nothing so far is Kuroki being chased by Boxy. And with Skewer up in five seconds, I don't think he's going to be able to survive this. Huge turnaround for Liquid. I thought that Liquid. Uh, oh, if they get Sven now too, it's a total disaster. Miracle yeah, can't die. He can't die here. He Quick can't die here. To slow him. Arrow. He's dying. Gonna split the uprights and yeah, the stacks from Nick oh. More than enough. Full team wipe in favor of Liquid. He's he would be happy to die here if Ursa gets Oof. out. Great read. Mikhail. Sentry is wow. down. That was great. Very, if very he gets good. out, it's not. Oh, okay, he's not no, out yet. Back Goes back in, gets gushed. Weeha pops the haste so you can't chase him anymore. Mind Control still with that Ravage, but Liquid are here in numbers now. It's going to be a big team fight. Stormhammer onto the Koi to start things out with a crush. Looks like they're going to be able to take out Miracle at the start of this fight, and there's the False Promise already being used on Ursa. He's going to earn himself and should be good to go as a result. Nope. Actually, no, he dies. Wow, they actually did enough damage, but Mind Control, Kraken Shell activates. I'm not sure if they actually want to oh. go towards him, but Kuroki misses his RP. Truly unfortunate. In the meantime, Weeha getting bashed down by Boxy and Koifa's right clicks, but the suck is there. Do they have another stun in the meantime? The crush to follow, and they finally take him out. It takes forever, but it's a two for one. As the chase on the mind control, the endless battle of the Tidehunter will finally come to an end. Ends up being a three for one. I was actually really surprised that Ursa died and aggressively as the fight was happening. Either way, free Roche for Liquid. Mind control. Okay, oh. uh, that's the Aegis. Jesus, Decrepify into the life drain is more than enough, and Mickey just has to hightail away. That was miscalculation at its best right there. Stormhammer onto three. The crush to follow, though. He's going to turn this around on the Miracle again. He's going to take the Viper Strike, but getting healed by Weeha in the meantime. Terrorize to follow, though, and that is more than enough to take out Miracle again. That is his sixth death. He's 0 6 and 1. Not something you see every day for Miracle. Mickey. Oh, the arrow! <laughs> Boxy ends up tanking it. They're going to take out Kuroki very easily. But has to be careful with the Decrepify into the life drain again, but Fate's Edict able to help him out just a bit. Uh, in this game, I think the BKB is mandatory. You, There's just too many stuns. Um, you get all the freedom, and now you're getting oh, no Oh, the to crush on to three heroes! Boxy showing off his Aghanim Scepter as well. Miracle trying to right-click him down, but there's the Viper Strike to follow. Ravage now, but Miracle just getting oh. right clicked by Mickey. Absolutely destroyed. Terrorize onto two heroes now, as it looks like Liquid are just cleaning up this fight. GH looks to be next on the list. Taiga ends up saving himself thanks to that Yules, and that is four kills instantly in favor of Liquid. He lost the laning stage. And here comes Mickey, and there's another great crush. A double crush, instant kill onto Kuroki. Mind Control still with the Ravage available. And again, buyback still there for Kuroki. Uh, they're just going to give up this kill again. So a double for Mickey. All that minus armor to work with. Boxy with his. They're going to go for this uphill potential fight. They're going to get the crush up. Actually does connect to Kuroki. Gets the RP up into the Ravage. Do they have damage followed up? Kuroki melts under the pressure. Now Miracle getting right click down. Weeha not able to save him in time. The heal just not nearly enough. A triple kill for Mikke. So I much mean, can happen wins. based on what happens in the first 10 minutes and what counter picks you have. Yeah, the Wonderful. laning stage was just as part of a stomp as I've seen in quite a while. It looks like the damage will be done this time to Weeha. There's that nullifier. 
just crushing him, not able to decrepify himself. This will be, at the very least, a Rax. They cannot go for Megas, so they'll have to go for either bottom or the throne. And again, everybody is melting. With the Corrosive Haze <laughs> and with the Orb of Destruction, Ursa is three shots, people. Absolutely insane. Mind Control nullified again. And yeah, is dead as a result. BKB pop from Mickey. Not really needed, but GG is finally called. And Team Liquid take this series. It's so weird. Every game was a stomp. And it's 2 1. Yeah. <laughs> they got just absolutely rolled this game.